You know, the Shield pilot screened yesterday, which was very exciting. I didn't get to see it, some people did, but it got a tremendously positive response. Marvel has been trying to get a live action movie going for, I think since 2009, for a number of years. Mm -hmm. What was it about this one that made it the one to kick it off with? Uh, you know, look, we're not gonna be able to do the level of spectacle and the level of, uh, of uh, effects on television that we do in the movies. So it was always trying to figure out the best way to bring Marvel to the small screen without feeling like uh, we were we were cheaping out or, or giving people an experience that wasn't equal to the movie experience. And Clark Gregg is so amazing, and we've established S.H.I.E.L.D. now in all of our movies that the audience, I think, was ready to see what do those guys do when they're not with the Avengers. Yeah. And, uh, and when you have Joss Whedon telling that, that version of the story, you're in pretty good hands. Yeah, Joss Whedon sort of indicated that it may foreshadow things that are happening in the cinematic universe, call back to other things. How early might we start to see that happen in the series? Well, I, I, I think you'll see it in the pilot, but, but the... Uh, just as I always say, each of our movies has to stand alone as their own movies and then connect to everything else. That's what Joss wants for this show. The show very much is going to stand on its own, create its own mythology, and occasionally check in and acknowledge, yes, we're in, a, in the shared Marvel Cinematic Universe. Well, I have to ask you about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV is so big on our, our site, and, and uh, my TV editors wanted to know, you know, the, the, you guys have the back nine order. The ratings have sort of come down, but they've sort of stabilized. Do you, do you guys feel like you've, you've learned like from the reaction of the fans or, or sort of like the, the, the some criticisms of the show so far about what you should do in the second half? The, uh, the truth of the matter is Jeff Loeb runs our television yeah. division and, uh, and it's one of the rare cases where I get to sort of sit back and watch it like a fan. We are, uh, you know, the studio is somewhat involved in the creation of, mm -hmm. uh, of, 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 the, of the scripts in that they say, oh, hey, you know, we want to we want to do this. We want to do that. Is that going to step on anything to make sure that all of our ducks are in a are in a row? Um, but really, the fun is that things that happen in the movies will ripple into that show uh, in unique ways. Um, so Jeff would certainly be much more able to answer those questions than I am. Not only has the slate increased uh, in a pretty exciting ways, but you also have two TV shows on ABC coming up and several Netflix shows. How does that affect uh, your end of things? Well, it doesn't affect my end of things very much at all, because my end of things is, is exclusively the features. And Jeff Loeb runs our TV division, which is overseeing Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, Agent Carter, and of course all the uh, awesome Netflix series. I have some smaller involvement in uh, Agent uh, uh, Carter because of Haley, because Luis de Esposito did the short on which the sh show is based. Uh, he directed the pilot, just finished it. It's awesome, even now in its rough form. And, uh, and I had asked to be a little more involved in, in that one, so I'm, I'm helping them out there. But primarily, uh, uh, and exclusively, uh, I want to make the movies. Devin? Um, you know, you talked about how you want to keep making the movies, the TV is the TV, but when you have something like Infinity War, which is going to really impact the entire universe conceptually, is there room for the Defenders to show up on the big screen in an Infinity War movie? The Netflix series are leading to a Defenders series and Devin is asking, is there room to include them into the features at some point if Infinity War is going to be big? There are a lot of people from the movies uh, in Infinity War. A lot of it is about space, and a lot of it is about you know, just what happens between now and then. But, but all of those things inhabit, however, however far on the outskirts, the same continuity. So certainly that opportunity exists.